So about a week ago now, maybe a little bit more, but I made a video called This Is Actually Getting Ridiculous. In that video, I kind of talked about my experience with demonetization, and honestly, now with all this new demonetization talks going on, I felt like I should make a follow-up to that video, which was already a follow-up. But basically, if you don't know on YouTube right now, there's a bunch of demonetization going on with like kid-friendly stuff, which is kind of interesting. I'm obviously not necessarily a kid-friendly channel. I'm not kid-unfriendly, but whatever. The point I'm trying to make here is let's just walk through some of the videos I I actually uploaded this week. So we'll start things off with the video I'm talking about itself. This is actually getting ridiculous. That was one of the videos I uploaded about two weeks ago now, I guess, judging by the date. Then a few days after that, I actually uploaded something about a theory that there's a hidden vault and some other theories in Fallout 4. Then we moved on to actually a pretty cool Fallout 4 sale. It was like a Black Friday deal for Xbox users. Then a Mods Weekly episode that actually allowed the Minutemen to be turned into a pseudo steampunk military. That was fun. And then a really nice big update to Fallout the Capital Wasteland, bringing Fallout 3 into Fallout 4. Always happy to make content about that mod. And then I started pre-recording, anticipating my departure for Thanksgiving. So I was uploading multiple videos a day, but they weren't being published on the same day. Regardless, we had five mods to improve gameplay, as well as an upcoming mods where I showed you a really cool upcoming mod from Nero. Then a few other videos. Then we did have five cool mods actually showing you a ton of really cool mods. I knew I wasn't going to be able to release a mods weekly, so this was kind of that fill-in video. And then finally, only just recently, I did release the top five mods for Fallout out for. So yeah, those are my week of uploads. There's a few I missed in between there and every single one of those was demonetized. Now, something I feel like people didn't really get on the original video is all of these are remonetized. That's how I know it's okay for YouTube. After manual review, every single one of these videos right now is sitting with a green monetization icon, meaning it has the full amount of ads that you would expect. Why did some of these get demonetized? Why did other ones not? I don't know. If we actually take a look at maybe some of the videos that didn't get demonetized, maybe they'll tell us a little bit. So let's see, one of them is five real life fallout weapons with a gun in the thumbnail. Well, I mean, I don't really know. I would actually think that one would get demonetized. Then we have the top five best PS4 mods with another gun in the thumbnail and just very similar to the rest of these thumbnails, honestly. And then the top six weapon mods for Fallout 4. Are you seeing a theme here? Yeah, there's no clear reason as to why some of these are getting demonetized and other ones aren't. I have no idea what it is. I just wanted to share my frustration with you as I did with the previous video, but this time actually show you some of the evidence. I think I might've missed a few of these videos because again, I was traveling. I wasn't catching them and taking pictures of them instantly like I was earlier in the week, but regardless, it's immensely frustrating to have to go through this. YouTube has still really done nothing to address this. They released that video saying they made changes, but yet I'm still going through this and all of these are getting manually approved. The machine is not learning because it's still happening. That's pretty much it. As always, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Later.